porta. So they're kind of absorbing sands first and then eventually they start to uh, bore it around the amber to that. That's interesting. I kind of see the uh, additional sand there. What about now? Has it started? I haven't seen one for one. Oh, I, I think it, it has started. Hmm. It's letting some sand surprisingly. Maybe I'm just being blind. <laughs> it kind of still adds, and then some others, it just decreases. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, apparently it has started indeed. Oh yeah, no, that's handy. Okay, that 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 stops. Where's that one again? Oh god, it's over there. Hmm. Okay, okay. Now, <laughs> maybe not not meant to do that kind of thing. Okay, I see you. We're going there. Okay, here's the one up. Oh yeah, that's the one indeed. Ah, oh, screw it. I think my ship's gonna go there. Yes. This is basically the one I'm looking for. Hi. Okay. Make our way in. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh god. I'm having to tell me to wait for that too. Okay, there it is. Yes! Oh, bless. God damn it. Okay. Woo! That's how. That is indeed how. All right, now we're gonna see where this one leads us to. <sighs> Get a heal. All right, now that's done. I'm really glad that's done. Oh! 
place this. What the? Where in the world is? Is that a nomai? Wait, what the hell? That that's a nomai. That similarly moves something something. That is scary as hell. All right, we know where to go then. Just gonna have to find the uh, building again. Okay, the uh, things there. Okay, yeah, there. It's over right there. All right, all right. We found a place. Maybe that is somewhere around the uh, sun station, isn't it? Oh, maybe instead of walking, I could have just gone through by my freaking ship. Oh, Christ. Okay, okay, okay. So that's definitely gonna be a really new place to be in. Okay. Uh, I have a feel a bit ready. Now fly somewhere. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. We can park ourselves somewhere in here, indeed. All right. Now we jump, fly, or rather, you know, float, fly, but works. Okay. So, looking up. Kinda looks like the bramble that we're going to, but uh, maybe not that one coming. Oh, oops. Alright, that scout going somewhere. That's a rock, Timble Hut. It's not the one. Oh, yeah, Sun Station indeed. We're going in, baby. Not yet? What the hell? This is indeed inside the Estuin project, eh? Uh, 281, 42, uh, years ago, no user commands to see for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep. Uh, 9 minutes 15 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected, sun station holding security approaching, approaching critical light bulbs, closing emergency doors. Oh no, this is sun station? Burning opens emergency door, oh god. Crap, screw this. Sweet Jesus. Oh my god! Okay! We are here! Apply mission science compels us to explode the sun. Idea, can we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission, determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack sense of humor, says Pi. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics, says Idea. Kindly refrain from going so over on me for the sun dust idea. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. God damn, screw you, Pi. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Oh boy. The hell? Ooh. Green place, green place everywhere. This is indeed Sun Station. God bless. Oh. No, my statue. It's closed. Holy crap. I did nothing to see up here.
Okay. Oh, brother. Okay, good. More, more notes. Start at each end of the natural life cycle now. Approaching regen stage. Warning, evacuate sun station. Approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star. Zero minutes, 30 seconds? Crap! Approximate time until star's death. 11 minutes, 59 seconds. Freak me! Another Aston projection stone here. Ah, oh, crap. I, uh, I think I have to evacuate here. Out of this place. Alright, right, right. Ah, right. oh, frick. I'm so dead. Gah. Oh, that's a wrong place. Okay, we should fly! We should fly! Ah! Nope. There's a sun station projection stone somewhere. What the hell? And that's another ass twin projection stone there too. What the hell? Oh, we're living in a living tale, baby. Holy hell. I got everything I got from the sun station, but uh, oof, I suppose I haven't even read a single thing from that uh, Aston projection stone too. Christ, sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. According to no my computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. It's more to explore. Bye, screw you, big time. What the hell? Why do you make such things to be possible? More of a screw you a thingy. Aye. Jesus. Finally managed to make a wrap on that segment and I was still rather confused on what I should do next. Although I have like an hour and plus of things that I can try to work on. I have no idea how to bridge it between that November recording and the February recording. Uh, I was, however, pretty much thinking on putting something like a title shot with the rock music. charging my laptop so I expect the quality should not be deteriorating that much although I do notice that I okay never mind I did not open my opera I've closed that I'm I'm having that on that setting is still also on okay um yeah um I'm not sure about my first plan of visit but I do want to visit high energy lab because I haven't gone there for a while I was still as pretty recent on going to the quantum moon um, even more reason on visiting Sun Station, and by then I still feel like I have to find more stuff there. And also the vessel at Dark Bramble, which I have to find the find or forge the warp core in order to be able to warp towards hide the universe or so what it claims. That's the uh, quantum moon, all right. Also, I do notice the. Uh, fast way to traverse towards the quantum moon. I will explain eventually. Uh, also, I forgot the about the satellite part, which uh, LB mentioned that I might have missed about around the uh, that not 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 the dead body I'm talking, but the uh, oh yeah this one. I should try there instead. 
dead first. Oh, where is that? Okay, it's over there. So what can go wrong there? I do wonder. Um, how to change frequency? Okay. Oh yeah, that's it. I forgot how to freaking break. So I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to match the frequency, right? Then that's what I'm supposed to do. Like seriously, what mo anomaly there? What are there are you referring to here? Wait, is that? Wait, 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 is that? It's the ice deep, okay. Oops. Yeah, this is the one. Approaching slowly, but we're not too close on it much. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm looking for here. I got even much further. There you go. Facing nearby me. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Get a pick up a little bit too close. I have to go to the other side. Maybe. Not sure what I'm looking for. <laughs> 
I might have even, I might have even already missed the freaking moment, do I? Oh yeah, that's the radio tower. I gotta forgot. I, I forgot that's the name already. Yeah. Much better. Whoa! Whoa! I was not pressing anything. Something. Might have passed through? Or is it the... I don't think that's my mouse, no. Okay. I, uh... Probably to try to inspect. In a way. Something change course? No. I'm still not sure what's up there. Eh? I'm still not really not sure what I'm looking for. I might be a bit too too late on it. This LB did mention that it's uh, earlier in the loop, and this time it's not. Yeah, the interloper is already like uh, doing its second rotation. I may have missed it. But yeah, what the? I just felt like I didn't do anything at all. And all of a sudden, that felt like something was up there. Okay, plan B. Um, it's already way too late to visit uh, Astwin. I may have just want to try to visit Quantum Moon. And find Solnum. Okay, I know the other way to uh, visit Quantum Moon. Gotta find it where though. Okay, there it is. Okay, I got it. Got it. Just have to... Have it captured like that, yeah. Although that's a bit too far. What did you do? Still enough. I should do. Autopilot, I just have to rely with the autopilot this time. Okay, now to land it safely there. Thank you. And there it is! Yep! I'm landing safely. Apparently that's how you visit Quantum Moon safely. Um, oh yeah. Remember yeah. what happened in this episode when I was traversing the quantum moon via ship? And then look at this comment. You probably have expected what will happen in this one, so... Oh god, not again! Alright, got a question for you. What will I do here? Will I fix the ship's reactor? Or maybe a plan B is to... I am have to go out. Why? Why does this happen again? Frickin' hell. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um... 
Oh god. Uh, prepared to fall, I guess? Or do I prefer to visit there instead? Hold on. I'm gonna try to change the trajectory if I can. Uh, assuming that's possible, duh. Freaking hell. Wait, that's. I think that's the piece from the ship that. Uh, yeah. I think that's the piece. Uh, the ship piece. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god, this may be bad! Oh, I can't go in! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep orbiting apparently. Oh crap! Crap, crap, crap! <gasps> Assuming I can catch on that freaking moon. Uh, no, I can't! God damn it! Oh! oh. I'm fine! I'm- Oh, maybe I'm fine. I'm not fine. I don't know. Pfft. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not sure where to go. That is the tornado that's leading me upwards, so I don't want to go there. I gotta find the. Uh, okay, I'm gonna find Gabriel. Okay. Uh, where, where's Gabriel? I don't have much energy. Not energy. Oh, get rest at the freaking other. Other island, like that's all the way over there. Uh, if I'm running out of oxygen, I gotta have to meditate. <laughs> My scout's just there. Oh no, the, the island that I want to go to is falling somewhere. Ah. Uh, I want to go to that island, please. Uh. Okay, okay. Oh no, not that one though. Frick, frick, frick. No, do not. do not fly without me. Yes, that's it. That's it. Okay. Um, that's really close. I need the tree, man. The tree is right over there. I tell fine, right? I'll try. So much plants, man. Okay, okay. Better go, better go, better go. If only I can visit Ash Twins. One of the Astrid's tower or something from here and not the I want to visit the Astrid tower from here and not from the Astrid tower itself I don't know what to go next How close is that to my position? Maybe not too close. Which is good. <sighs> Church way over there. That one's approaching, huh? That does sound like it's approaching. Bail, bail, bail! 
It's another island that I wish to go to. Yep, that one's approaching. I'm not liking it. I mean, I really don't know where to go next after I'm going here and get stranded. I think I will have to restart. Or like meditate. <sighs> so much for this. My ship is stranded. Exploded. After I visited freaking Quantum Man. At least I just quit it as soon as I landed there. I start to revisit Radio Tower. Maybe rather than revisiting Radio Tower, I think I should just try to find my way towards the Ember Twin once again. And find a way to the High Energy Lab. So uh, this also means that I think I want to park my ship right on top of it so I can fly as soon as I arrive there. Hold on, since I kind of know the shortcut bit. <sighs> so I'm not landing towards that uh, gravity cannon. Okay, there's th there's that one. Okay. Yep. <sighs> Kidoki. Exactly over here. Yep. Something around here. Um, I think I did see the uh, gravity station. No, 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 the gravity cannon, sorry. Um, although, uh, I think I'm gonna memorize it from here. I did see the glimpse of it, but I'm not too smart. Oh, boy! Um, crap, crap, crap. I do want to go there. Oh, boy. Ah, God bless. Okay. My hands all around shaky. All the shake, all the shake. So I'm about a bit, then turn left. This is the one that I should turn right back here, yeah. And then I have to go up if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's one. Okay, I think that's my mouse, not my ship. Oh uh, yeah. I have to just jump. Far left to go. Oh yeah, that one. Okay, that's easy. I think it's my mouse that's acting, not the... Not the ship. I just want to go to the energy lab, which is over here. Okay. I have this should not be that high yet. I didn't feel my oxygen enough, I feel. Let's see how much the sand fills the gap there. So that I know that I have to, like, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna take my oxygen first. I also have to remember that I don't have much fuel left. But I know I can take this path towards the upper part. Oh boy, I hope I'm not too late. Um, oh, that's barely way too up there. Ooh, boy. Oof. Ah. Um, saved. Okay, fill it. There you go. Okay, now to go down again. Ooh. Yeah. Ah, good. 
Okay, this is fine. There you go. Much better. Okay, I gotta get prepared. Okay, that's my mouse, apparently. <laughs> it's not the chip, it's my mouse. Probably gonna need a, a better mouse this time now. Okay, be quick on it. Ow! Oh, god damn it! Okay, that's just bad. Alright, this is the gap that I want to fill. Have to jump first. There you go. Ow. Okay, okay. I see now. Oh, okay. There you go. I haven't seen where, where that's gonna lead me, but uh, this is the way up. All the way up here. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, no, no. I don't want to go up. Crap. Whoa. Okay. Now we're talking. Um, how to change my... Okay. Uh. Gravity here feels weird for somewhat. I have to jump there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here we are. Oh. What's this? Oh, this is the warp core. That's an anti warp core. Oh, this is some sort of demonstration to describe about how this thing works. A scroll. Okay, I'm gonna read that later. Pi. Record show on my arriving at the warp receiver of Brita Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hall station. Remy and I are devising experimental tests if this is a real phenomenon or simply machine error. Ooh. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Hmm. Initial things first, our experiment setup will first bear a small black hole core with a small white hole core. To mimic the setup on the white hole station. Pair the small black hole with a small white hole. Happen says it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Interesting. I did read that before. What about this one? Uh, not that our experiment here reproduced the anomaly and arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I have to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunder City's energy supply should provide sufficient. Of note, Remy, your, um, your request that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Remy and I are about to run a new test. Habitus confirm. Habitus is confirm. I saw it. Pi, I saw. Pi saw it. This is beyond extraordinary change. Everything. What a beautiful day to the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm really getting this, but uh, it appears. Um, it's not an equipment error, but it's more like a phenomenon that something that enters the, the black core hole would transport to the white hole before it 
uh, complete the exits, the black hole. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm getting it right, but probably that's the case. I wonder about this though. Oh yeah, that should power all that stuff. Something, something. I should still have enough time. Oh, did I see the quantum moon? Okay. Okay, how about this? Um... I'm not sure where I'm getting here. I just don't really feel safe. Oh, okay, it's just that hole. I do have to go up a bit to know what's up around here. Okay, more scrolls here. And something that I want to see up there. Remy, the Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. <coughs> um, FYI, I think 22 minute interval is something that every time the loop occurs, it's only at 22 minute, 22 minute interval or 23. Yeah, I do remember this. Uh, we've learned the negative interval of time with a depart departure and arrival kit can be increased by adding more energy. Oh! So that's what they learn. Adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hmm. The energy required to extend the interval. I see. I think. How about this is creating a 22 minute long interval is possible but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Uh, the energy is currently is currently unavailable. You say you're a gas spy. <laughs> Raymond, I believe it will be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a trailing but in the most undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We'd also likely need enormous space to fit this proposed new energy and warp technology together. The only location large enough would be Astrin. Yeah. Not going there yet. Oh, my pun was unintended, Remy, so I believe you was airy format. <laughs> we couldn't have it it's necessary energy. Oh, jeez, current my freaking arse. This too. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Aston project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically, to build it. We need a way to travel quickly with Einstein and its location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers like one we have on the White Hole Station to connect Aswin? Okay, so basically this is the history before they create those as twin towers, yeah. To connect Aswin directly to each critical location. Oh yeah, this is root. I've seen root from Earth. Uh Earth block, yeah. Of note, each tower Aston will warp to different planet. Oh god. Uh, my gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. <laughs> we can design each tower to officially reflect its warp destination. Huh? We can design each tower to officially reflect its warp destination. Wait, is that meant to be the... I did not know that. What? Ha! Huh. Flux is a genius. <laughs> I did not know that. Apparently, each of these towers do reflect the fizzle of the planets that uh, or the destination that it's meant to go to. I believe that's the case on how they design it, interestingly. Perk, Ruth, and I can begin work on, on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Okay. We can design each tower to reflect the destination. Okay. The Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. I won't be called more than the Timber Heart after a Jason Mountain. Oh, yeah! That's the Ember Twin and S Twin. That's the Chaser one leading to the Timber Hut. I did not know that! That is genius! 
This is uh, duck bramble. Uh, that's crap. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be leading to the sun station, aye. And that's crap. Wait, one of these leads to Brittle Hollow. How do they? I'm not gonna be able to memorize any of this, but uh, it's just possible. Okay, I think so far the sense still okay, right? Yeah, it should be the extra path that I will go later. I still have to experiment with these energies. I can't. I still. I still can't understand. How does one add to the? more energies into this thing I don't know oh is this the one? Oh, Jesus I'm a silly goose okay okay remove this bear this here I can do this too and bear this there Or not make that work at all. Ooh, I see. Oh! Oh! So that's why I kind of tend to hear double noises of this. Things apparently that can appear there. Okay, wait. How about do this? I don't want to retreat scout too many targets. That's interesting. Whoa. Okay. That was fun. Can I just not do both uh, black hole corp course? Yeah, no. Just put white and black. And this... Okay, what if I do this on the white one? No... It can only be done on black, that's fun. They're really genius on doing this. That's neat. Apparently that can appear before... The whole... Scout model enters the black hole. Does this useful for our purpose later though? I mean maybe not for us but it has certainly helped for the Nomice to devise uh, the Wop Stars thanks to this. Yo that's awesome! I still don't know what the Brittle Hollow resembles here though. Kinda hard to tell. This is kinda like Dark Bramble. That's Dark Bramble, right? It's supposed to be Dark Bramble, except uh, I still can't seem to... ...device the core much? I don't wonder if I can, like, bring one of these cores... ...to the Ash Twin. No, no to, not to the Ash Twin, the uh, Dark Bramble. So I'm gonna be a little bit too late now. Now that I realize it. <laughs> 